Hi, we are Jason and Mary, and we're just really excited that you're taking the time to watch our video. We know that this process is definitely a big one for you, and so we just really appreciate you taking the time to do this. We hope that through this that you can really get to know us better. So uh, Mary and I actually first met um, back in March of 2008. Um, I was teaching at that time and she was actually assigned to be my student teacher for a semester and um, so we got to teach together and then um, and got to know each other a lot better and it was actually during that summer when we first started to date and um, that is also when she accepted her first uh, teaching position which was uh, actually out in Napa in California and um, so the first few months of the our relationship we it was kind of a long distance relationship and uh, but we made it through and when she uh, was actually out to, to visit over Christmas time is when I decided to uh, to propose and uh, pop the question and I was just incredibly blessed that she said yes so now we've been married for almost nine years and our little family consists of Jason and myself and then we have a little fur baby his name is Snickers He's a Chorky, so that's a Chihuahua Yorkie mix. He's definitely very cute and loves to play fetch and eat food and snuggle at night. Um, I also have family that lives here in Denver. That includes my mom and my brother. My mom moved here in 2014 when my dad passed away. Um, it's nice to have her close by. My brother's close by as well. We really like to hang out a lot, so we do Tuesday night dinners every week. Uh, my mom is an excellent cook, so we always enjoy that. And, um, and we just really hang out together. So we like to play in the yard. We like to play board games. We like to just hang out and talk and laugh. Um, we're really a close family, and so I feel blessed by that. And then uh, I know that both my mom and my brother are super excited about us adopting a child. They're already ready to spoil away and are excited just to get to know our child more. And uh, both of my parents live in the area as well and uh, we enjoy spending time with them, whether it be watching different sporting events or going to movies or going out to dinner. Um, we just enjoy spending time and I know they're incredibly excited and can't wait to, uh, to be able to spoil and love on a, our little one as well. Um, and then uh, my brother and sister-in-law and my little nephew actually live out in California. Um, we get to see them a couple times each year and we just enjoy um, spending time with them and just getting to love on our little nephew as well. So as mentioned before, Jason and I met when I was student teaching and we are both still in the education field. I teach kindergarten now and I have for over 10 years. Um, I have to say that I love being in kindergarten. There's never a dull moment when you are spending all day every day with five and six year olds. Um, it's just such a, it's a really cool age to work with. Um, of course at every age kids are learning and growing, but I feel like especially at that age you just see such growth and it's really exciting. And um, I've actually been uh, teaching for about 17 years now. and first couple of years I taught in uh, public school. I taught fourth grade. And I've been at uh, the school I currently teach at for about 15 years now and t teaching both second grade and fourth grade and I think fourth grade is kind of at that grade level that I really enjoy the most working the, with the nine and ten year olds and getting to teach them but um, this year actually I'm kind of on a new adventure. I've moved up into um, administration at our school and I'm the director of curriculum and instruction there and I'm still new and getting used to the position but uh, so far I love it. So Jason and I definitely have a passion for working with kids and it's made it that much more exciting for us to go on this journey of starting our own family. Um, we're really excited to be at home with our child and teach them, so just learning from their successes and their mistakes. But we're also really excited to share our world of education with our child also. Um, we actually both teach at the same school and our colleagues are truly more like our friends and our second family. We absolutely love them and they're super excited for us in this whole process 
and we can't wait for our child to have them as teachers and be a part of that community that's just so loving and supportive. Um, so as far as hobbies go, um, I have several various hobbies, but um, probably first of all, I'm a huge history buff. Um, I just enjoy learning about history, whether it's through movies or podcasts or reading books or whatever various ways. I just love learning more about uh, the history of our country and our world. And uh, then I'm also a, a huge sports fan, whether it's uh, going to a sport, sporting event or uh, watching it here at home. I like pretty much all sports from football, hockey, basketball, um, and baseball. Um, so that's a big love of mine as well. And then uh, probably I really enjoy um, watching movies. I'm kind of a movie buff as well. So I really love to do crafting and decorating in our home. Um, I definitely decorate majorly for all of the big seasons in our house. My favorite season is fall and then my favorite holiday is Christmas. Jason graciously pulls everything out of storage for every time that I decorate, so the house kind of turns into a decoration explosion for a couple of days, but then I just really like to make our home a comfy and cozy place that just really is an expression of who we are and it just makes us feel comfortable. And then one of my biggest passions is music. My main instrument is my voice, and I've been singing pretty much since before I could talk and um, I sing in our church's praise band and then also a lot in the classroom with my students and definitely in the car at the top of my lungs all the time. Sometimes I have to quiet it down a little, right Jason? Yeah, you know. But um, I'm just really excited to be able to share our loves with our child and really see what it is that he or she loves and really foster that. Um, I think it's just really important to be able to express who you are through that creativity, whatever it happens to be. So. Um, we also enjoy doing a lot of things together, um, whether it's going to see a movie or um, maybe visiting um, and trying out different restaurants around the area or different breweries as well. Um, and of course we just love to uh, take our uh, dog Snickers for a walk. and. Um, whether it's just walk around uh, the neighborhood or a park or going to get some uh, ice cream, which he loves. Uh, getting a little bit of ice cream for himself as well, but it's just something we think we both really enjoy doing. Um, and we've recently been part of a, a new church plant that's just gotten started and launched. and. Um, We've enjoyed that and that's been a big part of our lives um, over the last year or so and um, just our, our faith is something that is very important to us and um, we're very strong Christians and um, it's important to us that we we share the love of Jesus with, um, with those around us and uh, um, it's just something that uh, we feel very strongly about. It's just really amazing that we have um, so many support systems from our life group to our family members to the people we work with. We actually know a lot of people who are adoptive parents and they've already helped us through this process thus far and I know they will continue to be a great resource for us. I just feel like we're a really unique situation and this is truly just the perfect time for us to be doing this and that we will just have all the love and support that we need um, as a family as we learn and grow. Well, we are so looking forward to um, the opportunity to raise our child and um, it's really important to us that they know how much they're valued and how much they're loved. Um, we look forward to helping them um, pursue their interests and find their passions and supporting and growing in that way. And those times when uh, there are mistakes or they do mess up or things don't go as, as well as planned, uh, we um, just want to help them learn and uh, grow from those mistakes. We really look forward to celebrating where they came from, 
the history that they have through you and also celebrating that they're a part of our family. And we just really want you to know that even though we don't know you, that we've been thinking about you and praying for you. And um, we just also want to say thank you once more for taking the time to watch this video. And we pray that you have a very blessed day.